So I woke up this morning to the sound. So you can hear it. There's like raindrops falling all over. Yeah, so I'm laying in my sleeping bag, uh, like so. And I was all curled up, like so. And I peek out, and there's little drops of rain. Or so I thought, until... And it's just fog. Yep, it's a foggy day, which I'm happy about. I don't want rain. Fog's okay. And every morning, I get up, and then I let this little one sleep in. Yes. Don't need a grumpy puppy on the trail. All packed up. This little one's been cold, so I got her tucked in my shirt. And here's the first white blaze of the day. And away we go. Ooh, it's all overgrown. Let's do this. Okay, so we are about to do our uh, first official water crossing on the Appalachian Trail or Appalachian. There you go. shoes. You guys are awesome. Okay, right. now which way do I go? Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess that direction. And there we have it. Our first water crossing. And our second water crossing. You ready for this look? It's gonna be treacherous. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Uh. Okay, made it. Okay. First actual water crossing. That's a little iffy. Did it! Up we go. Got my first hot spot. Now he's gonna have to cut off a toe. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So we'll do that. All right. We're going to do another one. Okay. Got it real nice and not too tight. Yeah. That's the key. Okay. Now that doesn't feel tight at all, does it? Nope. That okay, should good. be good. I'll spread good. my feet out so it keeps that. Uh... All right. Two times around. That should be enough. Okay. Okay. Now, if this gets really uncomfortable through here, uh -huh. it is medical tape, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. If it does, we can just snip that off on both ends. Yeah, because the rub is literally right there. That's where the hot spot is. Yeah, you don't have so, much coverage. So I know this, it's tricky, but it is this tricky. hopefully should give me enough lift to where it'll slide on me, this rather than let me see if that I can. spot. Let's see if we can so. rocket this through here. Rock it through. I don't know. Right across. Yep. 
That might be the only way like we can do that. Hold, but... Okay. One done. Yeah, those are tricky spots. Yeah. This is the way my... Alright, foot number two. Alright, let's see if we can cover that area. Yeah, because it's directly below that second toe. Right, let's get in there. Alright. And wrap it around. Let's try to get over here a little bit more. Nice. Yep, I feel it that time. It's good. One more. One more. Okay, it's okay, look. You All worried? Right. I don't know if we're gonna do any better than that. It never looks pretty. All right, that's good. Let's as long try as it. I'm not rubbing. We're good. So okay. To see how that Woo. feels. It's gonna feel weird for a while. Okay. But it will help protect. Let's keep these okay. puppies aired out. And You're gonna need a good 24 to. 48 hours for that to start to toughen up that skin. Yep. So I'll just keep rewrapping it. Yeah, great. Yeah, but I'd say you don't want to rewrap it because you don't want to waste tape. Yep. Um, maybe even tonight, if it holds up pretty good, you could actually throw a piece of duct tape around it. Okay. And that would help hold everything in. I don't know what else to do. Sweet. My sister's way better at this stuff than I No, this is perfect. This is way better than what I was doing, so. So. I had to leave my pup and my pack laying here because about a good maybe quarter mile, half mile, I don't know. This fell off. This is my favorite beanie. Oh, I ran there and I ran as much as I could back. It's so steep. But yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little break for a while, so. Make sure your loose ends are tucked away. I had it tucked in my chest trap and must have just boop, fall out. But I ran with this. So, just in case anything happens, I always have this. All right, lesson learned. <laughs> Shout out and look. Okay, so after walking up and down this trail, kind of a steep trail, for like, four times finally chosen number number two campsite number two I get service here like he's ready to crash out it's not super far from the trailhead and I'm just ready to sit so here we are campsite number two okay so I thought I'd show you what I do lately in the evenings so Got some leftover honey, so I'm kind of eating some honey while I get my stove ready. So, I'll just do it like a dish. I also found a rock, nice rock for my stove, and uh, a nice rock for my butt. So, here we go. There's all these little black flies around here. They're like gnats. They're not probably not black flies, but okay. Got my stand on. Good. Man, these little guys are everywhere now. I didn't have issues with them. I keep this in there to keep this from scraping around on the inside. It's just one of those uh, Swedish dishcloths, so I can use it to clean if I need. Have an adventure. All right. Blow out some of the dust and whatnot.
Measure out my water. It's about right. Splash for extra. This is all cleaned out. A little dirt on the top. Okay. Now, turn this little knobby down here. You might not be able to see it, but. There you go. Flame on. It takes about two minutes to boil. So, it's probably been less than two minutes, but it's already steaming, boiling. Turn this off. Today we have three bean chili by Good To Go, and it's vegan. So, Mmm, yum. It smells so good. Hot. Like magic. Then I go oh, and grab my spork. I guess this is it for 20 minutes. And then when it's all done sitting, it is delicious and rehydrated. Okay, and this is how I filter my water. As long as this dirty bag is above this clean bag, it will filter all on its own while I go do stuff and things. So, in about five minutes, that will be all filtered. Four liters of water. So, no pumping necessary. Amazing. It has been raining all night. So hard. So hard that it's splashing up. Dirt and water up inside the tent. So I to put my umbrella up inside here. If you can even hear me. Oh so yeah, this is, this is the setup. Keep from getting splashed. I'm still getting splashed in the face because it's bouncing off the ground into the tent. It's freaking insane. Insane! I'm so tired. I love moss. Moss, moss, moss. So, since there is a uh, military base nearby, training, um, look what I just found on the uh, ground. I'm assuming it's from training, so. What a nice little leftover shell. Sometimes, let's do this luck. Got our little rain jacket on from earlier. You're prepared too. All right, let's do it. Came across a beautiful spot. This is where I'm gonna fill up my water. 
There. Dirty water. the dirty water to this filter and this filter is connected to my little drink hose right there and it just drains down inside my back easy peasy lemon squeezy we are hiking along she's not a pocket princess today come on keep it going all right definitely helps with the weight I have her uh, little pouch slung around my neck so it looks like I have a little fancy fancy. <laughs> so, perfect example for what these crazy rock things are for. So it rained last night so there's tons of water flowing. And way down here, the water will flow down the trail, down, down, down. And if you don't stop it with something like this, it will run all the way down the trail and start to erode it away. So then it'll be a kind of a not so great trail. But here we are. There's luck. Adventure park. Oh my gosh, I found my first little tiny salamander. Look at him. He's so cute and little. I'm not gonna touch him with my hand. Get out of here, little buddy. Oh, bud. Okay, let's relocate you off of the trail, little one. Come on. It rained, so. Where'd you go? Come on, bud. Oh, what are you getting squeezed? up here. He should be in there somewhere. There he is. All right. Safe and off the trail. All right. Found a place. It's really pretty. There's a creek. And I forget what it's called. What's this one called? Devil's Kitchen. Devil's Kitchen. Okay, Devil's Kitchen. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Overdue for a stop. Lucky's ready to go to sleep. I'm ready to eat some food and sleep too. Goodbye.